Hey, it's Tyler here and uh, in this video I will show you a new ROM for the Elephone P7000 and uh, the ROM I'm going to show you today is the Vibe so um, it's the Lenovo Vibe UI and uh, this is um, a special ROM uh, that normally only ships on Lenovo devices but um, Elephone have converted this to the Elephone P7000 here and uh, I installed this ROM here and uh, let us have a look. So uh, the ROM is of course uh, still in development and uh, it's not finished yet. So this is a beta ROM still and uh, there will be some bugs. But uh, this is also my first time that I'm going to try this ROM. So let us just have a look together. Okay, we see here the logo from Lenovo. Wow, so here we see the lock screen and uh, what I notice here is that the brightness is 100%. Let's just have a look here and, and uh, we see here very dark, very light. So uh, the stock ROM was like this, but this one here can go up to 100%. And this screen here is very bright now, as you see. Let's just have a look here. Okay, so this is just for Google. Let's get back here again. Let me try to hold. See here support for themes, wallpapers, and so on. Seems also okay smooth in the UI. Let's try to hold here, we see the widgets, okay so far it looks really nice. Let's see here in the top. So we see the quick toggles here. Let's see in the settings. So it has a lot of different settings here. Storage. Total space 16 gigabyte. Available 11.77 gigabyte. Let's see here about. And uh, here we see something from Lenovo mobile phone, Elephone P7000. Okay. Let's see in device information. So we see it's the Android version 5.0. Let's just confirm. Let's see the build number, Elephone P7000, Vibe 2.5, see some specs here, let's get back here and let's see system update, system is the latest version, so what do we else have here, secure zone, we have something here, permission control, Security. Power manager. Let's see here in the usage consumption details. Let's check the language. So we have multi language here. That's a good thing lock screen okay so this one doesn't seem yet to support the touch id but uh, according to elephone they are of course working to implement this into the rom but that's why it's still in beta lock screen theme 
So here we have the theme center, very nice. We have a pocket mode and so on. Notification center. So there are a lot of special features here. White touch. Let's just try to enable this. Okay. And display. So this looks pretty stock. LED notification. Okay. But as we see, there are no kind of LED light in the home button yet. So this is also not finished. Let's check here. The, the weather app here. Let's check out the camera. Okay, so the camera is working. So I guess we have here the Lenovo Super camera app. Let's see here. Some different color filters there, also very nice. Okay, we have here the Google Apps. Let's see, we have the Play Store. We have Share It, Sync It, Gallery. Flashlight, let's see if this is working. Yeah, it is working. And uh, we also see it has something called Dolby Atmos. I don't know this. Something for music and the sound, I guess. Graphic equalizer. Let's see here in tools. So uh, overall it looks really nice, seems pretty smooth already, but uh, there are some features that are maybe not working yet, like the Touch ID for example, and um, I'm sure there are also other bugs, but uh, it's pretty nice to see that Elephone are converting custom ROMs for the phone, and uh, also it's really nice to see that this ROM here is using 100% screen brightness. So the screen here is really bright. So we know it's possible on this phone here. And um, that's why I'm sure that Elephone just have to fix the, the brightness in the stock ROM. And we will see this soon in a new update. So far I'm really impressed with this here. And, uh, I think I'm going to try to test this for a few days and uh, see if it will work as daily driver. If not, I will go back to the stock ROM and wait for the next updates where they will fix the brightness. But that's it for, for this video here. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Give a thumbs up. Until next time, see ya.